hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here make sure you subscribe and like the video and guys i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an intro on film aura and this is my part two and it's more advanced and basically i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an intro but without the like already pre-made intro that you already have on here so i'm going to be using an intro template from editing by matthew and um there's this app called 4k video downloader that you guys will need to download and um basically you can um paste your links that you um have off of youtube so you all you need to do is just copy a link and you guys can download videos off of youtube and this is completely free and this is um you can't get a virus from this also so just press paste link and it already pasted and now you guys can um just pick the quality you want it and now it's downloading and just wait for it to download and um once it did download now you guys can just um well I'm, i pressed on show and folder because i wanted to know where it was and um now you guys can see where it was and it's now in your folder so you guys can use it on wonder share film more so just go back into that um software and add that video and that you had and also this video if i didn't see it already this is from editing by matthew and go subscribe to him because i'm using his intro template from youtube so now you can just put it on the timeline and now you guys can crop where you want the um intro template to start and also end now i'm just gonna set where i wanted to start and end and guys if my computer looks like it's kind of glitchy that is a problem i had um yesterday and i know i was supposed to post it yesterday but like i said um there was a problem with my computer and as you guys can see it's really glitchy now for some reason because um my cat accidentally spilled milk on it but it wasn't a lot and it still works and um now after you guys are finished cropping it um you guys can also add text to it now so all you have to do is go to the text slash credit and now you guys can scroll down and pick any text that you guys want it really doesn't matter it's optional and it's whatever one you want to pick i'm just gonna pick that one because i like how it looks and the and the square box it kind of looks cool to me because it looks like a 3d type of like figure so i'm just gonna add that one in and now i'm just gonna like put it where i want it to start and also and you guys can also make it longer if you want but i'm not gonna do that because that's how long i want it to be um currently at the moment so um now you guys can just type in your youtube name or your name doesn't matter um obviously mine is jay lucas editing so i'm gonna type that in and um i'm gonna change my size and you guys can also change your font on here um i only downloaded one font for film or go and um it's called blacklisted but i'm not gonna use that one because i don't i don't really like that one well i do like it a lot but like there are other fonts that are better and guys if you want to download fonts to um film or go i'm going to teach you guys how to do that now so exit out on wondershare and go to this website called thefont.com and i will have the link to it in the description below and it's basically this website where you can download a whole bunch of new and old fonts and there are a lot of great fonts here and um my one of my favorite fonts is um this font called luna and um i use it a lot in some of my thumbnails and also videos so just press download and it should be at the right side of your screen and there should be um a downloading file at the bottom of your screen so now all you have to do is just click on it and i'm just gonna make it open and open in my folder sorry and um once it's opened in my folder now you guys can just right click and now press extract all and after you guys extract it um there should be a downloading thing right next to it when you right click again so right click and press install and now um it installed but i'm gonna install it again because there's nothing wrong with my computer and now after you installed it you don't have to install it twice it doesn't matter um, there's just something wrong with my computer but after you installed it now you should see the font inside of wondershare and if it doesn't show you guys will have to exit out of it and then you have to go back into wondershare again and it should be there and if it's not you guys probably missed a step or something now i'm just customizing where i want it to be and how big i want it and you guys don't have to do this if you want to stay how it is that is perfectly fine um it really it's what suits your liking for this um since this is a tutorial and you guys can click on this button called advanced and you guys can also add a whole bunch of customize and you can really see it from your point of view and also add like transitions you can customize you can also do styles and the styles is how you like want your text to be like it can be 3d it can also have a shadow and you can also have like a silhouette of your text and now basically after you're done that now you guys can um, i'm going to show you how you can add elements overlays and also filters and i also find the filters really cool because i'm um, on the filters you can add so um you can really have like cool vhs effects which i find really really awesome and you can also add shake effects which i also find awesome and you guys can also add for the elements you can also add like 
um, handwritten elements there are a whole bunch of elements you can have there and um, on the overlays obviously you can have like overlays and cool stuff and um, I'm not gonna like put these in my video because I do not think it looks good for my um, for my liking so you guys can add it in it's really optional it's really what suits you and I just don't like it that way and uh, now if you guys want to do stuff like green screens so just add in a green screen background it doesn't have to be specifically that color it just has to be an all like color and you just right click and you press make parts of your green screen private but before you do that you have to click on green screen obviously and then it just makes your stuff into a green screen and it can be any color it can be blue it can be green it can be black it can be white it can be um, brown any color as long as it's um, as long as it has to be an all like color it can't be a whole bunch of colors together because it will mess up the effect so now you guys can um, add in like overlays and I really like this and um, I usually do not use overlays um, because I really don't like it after you're done customizing your intro um, to your liking now you guys can basically save it now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed and also comment down below if you want a part three of this and I will do a part three and I'm not sponsored by Wondershare at all so please do not sponsor me and um, yeah we'll see you guys in my next video bye